high on high since about six o'clock let's say 6 a.m and now it is 9 30 and it's got a long ways to go so i'm going to leave it on high right here until um check it another three hours or so i have an appointment and stuff this afternoon but it'll probably be on high most of the day i thought i could turn it down but no because the meat and stuff's not even close because it's got to be falling off the bone so i can take the bone out shred the meat put it back in i won't put all the meat back in because that's a lot but okay guys i'll be back meat out and i'm gonna shred it there's a lot of bone right here there's a stage we're at right now I took the bones and stuff out and there's some meat in there but i'm gonna shred up some of that okay this is what it looks like so far My husband likes meat, a lot of meat. I don't. I just like a lot of meat. It's a little bit of meat. Okay. I'm going to let it go for a few more hours. Be back. Now it's done. See how nice it looks? I didn't do anything else. Just cooked it. It looks nice and creamy. Put it in the bowl. And I'll show you how we used to eat it. Okay, here's the bean soup. We always used to have it when I was growing up with bread and butter. You can either dip it or we would put it on our bread like that. And then we taste it. Tastes really good. Or we just go like this. So this was like a no one back then. My dad had passed away when I was ten, so my mom was raising six kids. So at the end of the month we'd end up having bean soup. Just like this. No extra herbs or anything, it was just uh Salt from the ham, the beans and onions, and sometimes not even onions, but I like onions. So, God bless everybody, and here is my family recipe for northern bean soup with ham and onions. Really good. Thank you, and God bless. Bye.